Hello everyone, it's the Crafty Missy here. This is part three of my three-part tutorial series on how to make magical miniatures. And in this part three, we're going to make a miniature magical mirror. Something like this. This is a project that is easy to customize and you can make it look just like you want it to look like. Let's get started. Here's what you will need to make your very own miniature magical mirror. First of all, you need a cabochon setting. Um, cabochon settings are basically small metal trays that you can fill with stuff. They come in a lot of different sizes and shapes and styles. Choose one that fits with the style that you want. And I'm going to be using this one, which is an oval shape. I think it's a very nice shape and size for my magical mirror. Then you will also be needing one match. That's right, just one match. You will be needing a piece of aluminum foil and also some acrylic paint in the color that you want your mirror to be. Here is the paint that I'm going to be using and this is an amazingly beautiful metal gold color and uh, or it's called antique gold. Love this paint. You will be needing some glossy accents, but you can also use clear resin if you want to. And if you want your mirror to look crackled and really old, then use crackle accents, or you can even mix these two. You will also need some glitter glue, and transparent or a very light color is best for this project. And then you will need something to decorate your mirrors, sort of like the backside of it. You can use glitter, um, you can use stickles, which is what I think I'll be using in this one. You can use teeny tiny beads, confetti, whatever you like, but something really, really small is best or something liquid like the stickles here. All right, so now we have everything we need. Let's get started. Most of the cabochon settings have a ring or maybe even two to in order for you to attach them like to chains or somewhere as charms. So you need to cut that out obviously using cutting pliers. And you can also cut your match to be smaller, shorter, whatever you want. But I would advise you not to cut this end because it will make a nice rounded end to your a handle of your mirror. So I, I cut just a little piece out of this match. So next thing you need to do is glue these together. So turn your cabochon setting so that the fillable side is down. This is the back side and ju then just glue this in there. So after the glue has dried, add a little bit more glue right here on the top so that you have enough glue to keep the match there. And after your glue has dried, it's time to paint your mirror. Now I've started painting my mirror. As you can see, I've painted the handle and I have this mirror part left to paint and I'm painting it with this beautiful, beautiful color, which is, um, it just makes such a beautiful gold. As you can see here, it is truly an amazing color. I mean, this is a new paint for me. I haven't had this before and I just completely love it. I have finished painting my mirror and next it's time to cut a piece of aluminum foil to fit sort of like the inside of the mirror. And the easiest way to do it is to just plop your mirror like this, sort of like face down on the aluminum foil and then take a sharp pencil, hold it and just go around it with your pencil. You don't have to press very hard. It will leave an impression on the aluminum foil. And then you just need to cut along this, but cut slightly on the inside here of the uh, impression, because if you uh, cut straight on the line, it will be far too big. And don't worry, you probably will have to keep cutting it for a while to make it fit your mirror. Now, when that's ready, glue it on the inside of your mirror, as I've done here. And next part then is where you need the glossy accents. We're going to fill this sort of like a cavity. I don't know if you could call this a cavity or a tray, whatever it is, but we're going to fill it with um, glossy accents. 
Now, just pour the glossy in. Be sure not to put too much. I'm going to just wait for a while to see how it goes. Just putting in a little bit more. The glossy accent kind of uh, moves on its own to fill um, to fill the tray here. You can turn it around like this. Just make sure that it goes everywhere and it's pretty much even everywhere. Now, how much to put this in? That's completely up to you. You can decide how much you want it, sort of how um, plump you want the glass there to be. Um, I'm just wondering if I would add just a little bit more. Remember that glossy accents, at least for me, sometimes it sort of flattens when it dries. So I'm just going to be adding just a little bit more to make it a little bit plumper. There we go. And of course now you need to let this dry and this will take a while to dry. It's best to let it dry completely. If it goes down and flattens, just add a little bit more and wait for that to dry. The glossy accent has now dried. It does have a couple of air bubbles, but I don't really care about those. They don't bother me. But if they bother you, you can try to pop them with needles when the glossy accents is still wet. But now we're going to put the magic into this magical mirror by using a glitter glue. Now, this glitter glue that I have here is very, very lovely. It has a very soft, beautiful glitter. And it does look a bit milky, but it actually does dry transparent. So we're going to use that. Just um, paint a thin layer of that over the glossy accents here. And if you want super much uh, of this glitter, you can even put a layer of glitter underneath the glossy accent. So on top of the the um, aluminum foil. So you can definitely do that if you want a big amount of, of um, glitter. The glitter glue has now dried and the mirror does look pretty magical and it really sparkles. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so the last part then is to fill up or decorate the backside of the mirror. Now, of course, you can leave it like this if you want to, but personally, I really don't like the way that this thing looks here, so I kind of want to fill this part with something to take uh, attention away from this. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can definitely do whatever you want. You can put stickles, you can put liquid pearl in there, you can put um, confetti, you can put glitter, whatever you want. Now, I happen to find these tiny bottles that you can see here at my local supermarket to just today, actually. And they have these teeny tiny little flat back crystals in them. So I'm thinking of using these to decorate the back of my mirror. And I chose these orange colored one. I thought that they would fit well with the kind of warm golden color of my mirror. So I'm going to be using those. So here is the back of my magical miniature mirror now. I like it. I think it's really super pretty and sparkly. And I added this little ribbon to it too. I thought that would be cute. And indeed, you can add whatever you want to your mirror. You can even decorate the handle if you want to. But yeah, that was it. And here are all the three magical miniatures that I made during this series of tutorials. I really hope you enjoyed these tutorials. And if you have any questions, please leave them to me here and I will answer. Thank you so much for watching these and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.